All right, everybody, thank you for joining me for my Twilight New Moon reaction. What the frig's going on here? Grandma? Oh, it's her grandma. I was gonna say, who's the lady? What the frig is going on? Edward, don't, she'll see you. Creepy Edward there. Yeah, something weird's going on here. Is this a dream or something? Your birthday, Bill. Bill, that's not grandma at all. That's Bell. Bell. Well, she's okay. Okay, it was a dream, and she was dreaming herself because she's getting older, and Edward isn't, and she's going to be an old lady when Edward's not. She's not going to be happy about that. How'd you get so old so fast? I didn't. <laughs> it's not that old. Oh, what a thing to say after she had a dream like that. Right? I can't blame her though. She got a limited lifespan. Edward don't. Think he'll turn her? Oh, don't answer that. Don't spoil it for me. Wait, didn't it graduate? Look at a love in her eyes. Oh yeah, slow motion walk. Happy birthday. Don't remind me. <laughs> oh, your birth is definitely something to celebrate. My aging is not. Maybe I shouldn't be dating such an old man. Oh wow. That's gross. Look at this. Oh my god. Boys, not in the parking lot now. Keep it in your pants. And as always, if you want to watch along for the full-length film and you have your own copy of The Twilight New Moon, you can watch along, sync it up with my timestamp. That's all available on my Patreon page for people who sign up over there and help support the channel. All right. Bella. Jacob. Hello, biceps. You know, anabolic steroids <laughs> are really bad for you. No one seems so drastic if we hang out more. He's in bulking up, eh? Should switch schools. <laughs> Good. Go jealousy kicking in. I saw this the other day and thought of you. Ooh, wow. Nice dream catcher. I like it. Where's your gift, Edward? Hmm? Yeah, I'll see you later. Oh, giving him the look over the shoulder. I sent you presents. I've already seen you open it, and guess what? You love it. <laughs> You're gonna wear it to me. <laughs> oh my, that guy still creeps me out. No fair with the mood control thing. Sorry, Bella. Uh, Happy. Mood control? That's his power? Mood control? Did they mention that in the first one? At least she's getting along with the family now. Everything's working out, right? No more strategies to be. <laughs> one kid crying, the next one bored out of his mind. For humans, a little poison, a dagger to the heart. Said to consider it once. Whoa, okay. I didn't know if I'd get you in time. What was the plan? Really? I go to Italy and provoke the Volturi. The what now? Volturi. Now, who'd like to repeat the last few lines of Mr. Cullen? Well, he's seen it a hundred times. Well, I set up my everlasting rest. Eyes on the screen, people. <laughs> Teacher's just like, well, he bought me in my place. I guess they're the closest thing in royalty my world has. That we keep the existence of our kind a secret. This is what happens if you don't? Unless, of course, you want to die. But that's the only way to commit suicide. Oh, okay. Did he rip their arms off, too? Victoria. She'll come for me one day. I could protect you if you change me. But it's my job to protect you. Now it's a job. Wow, that's not a romantic way to put it. Sorry about all this. It's short to rain, Allison. Oh, Alice picked it up. Still hasn't warmed up to her yet. Finally a decent sound system for that piece hey, of crap. Don't, whoa, whoa, don't hate the truck. Whoa, whoa, yeah, come on. It's not a piece of crap. People talking trash about her truck all the time. Getting a bunch of gifts from vampires. Uh-oh. Shouldn't have did that in front of him. Look, it triggers them all now, does it? Oh, especially him. He still can't control himself? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Oh, no. No. <laughs> They're all turning. Oh, good. The father has always got the most self-control out of everybody. I'm sorry, I can't. I have to stitch this up in my office. How does he have so much control? I guess because he's so old. Edward. Edward? Edward! Snap out of it. I suppose now he's going to get all emotional and be like, well, yeah, it's not safe for you to be around me anymore. we got to break up. I'm surprised I've been away from human blood as long as the rest of us. I knew who I wanted to be. Hmm? I wanted to help people. He's got an insane amount of willpower. I am damned regardless. Oh. Damned? Yep. Carly, you couldn't be damned. You couldn't. It's impossible. Gracious about us. <laughs> I'm sure he's did bad things in his past, right? That's why he won't change me? If you believed as Edward does, could you take away his soul? 
You lose your soul when you become a vampire, hey? Eh? Yep, eternal damnation. Is that a sacrifice you're willing to make for love? Hmm? No way. You better end up with Jacob. All right? Just play it out, live a normal life. Running into wilds with a werewolf, way better. Just saying. The only solution is to change me. You're not gonna want me when I look like a grandmother. Wow, what's his response to this now? I do not understand my feelings for you at all. How you feel about your soul? I don't believe that. So don't worry about mine. Edward's a broken man. Look at him. Man, she's hell bent, <laughs> literally, on getting converted here. Kiss me. You haven't even kissed her yet on her birthday? Right in front of Dad's house. <gasps> I've been moaning so much. Rain it back in. Love you. They do seem pretty in love. Oh wow. Why'd you fold it? No, he didn't show up to school again. Come on now. What's the significance of that? Why'd she fold herself? Like, took herself out of the picture. Come take a walk with me. Just gotta get away from the house, right? Can't have Dad eavesdropping. All right, here we go. Big drama moment coming up, right? I can feel it. We have to leave Forks. Carlisle's supposed to be 10 years old in the looks. People are starting to notice. I've got to think of something to say to Charlie. Oh, no. Let me guess. You're not coming with me? I mean my family and myself. What the frag, man? After everything you've been through? And nothing compared to what could have happened. See, I knew it. I knew it. That look he had when that event went down, right? Just don't belong in my world, Bella. Yeah, breaking a friggin' heart over here. Come on, that's all right. Go with Jacob. I'm coming. I don't want you oh, to come. Oh, he's doing that thing where he's saying what he's got to say to get her to turn away, right? He doesn't actually feel it. You don't want me. No. Same thing she did to her father, right? Don't do anything reckless for Charlie's sake. This is the last time you'll ever see me. I won't come back. You're making a promise you can't keep. It'll be like I never existed, I promise. If this is about my soul, take it. I don't want it without Oof. you. It's not about your soul. You're just not good for me. Oh, wow. It's too late. It's already done. He's already said the words. They can't be unsaid. Oh my god, goodbye kiss to the forehead, really? Okay. <sighs> Maybe that's why it's called New Moon? Because we're gonna get to build the relationship with Jacob now? Looking forward to it. No, you can't, you can't go after him. You're gonna get lost in the woods. Come on now. Well, it's done. That relationship was good while it lasted, right? Not really. It's kind of an emotional roller coaster that didn't really have a good foundation. But, you know what? Now it's time for her to start over, fall in love with a werewolf, embrace Mother Nature, and just be happy, right? Live out her mortal life, die of old age along with Jacob, everything will be fine. However, based on the comments, most of you guys are Team Edward. I don't think I've seen one Team Jacob. So am I going to be the only Team Jacob? It's not just because he's a werewolf, he seems more level-headed. Curl up in the fetal position, in the wilderness, nobody's going to know where she is, her dad's going to panic and freak out. Oh, my God. But she's going through some stuff, right? You know. I can't wait to see the animation of the werewolf in this. I wonder, is it going to be super cheesy or is it going to be good? See, I knew her dad would be freaking out if she didn't come home. Good riddance. Charlie. Oh. She's all right. Why is dude walking around with just his shorts on and no clothes? Yeah, like, as a dad, you're like, what are you, what are you doing here? You're like freaking in your underwear walking around the forest. Oh, October. How big a time jump is this now? November. Wow, the months are just rolling by and she's in a horrible state of depression. He took everything with you. That was a good visual. The way they did that was just the panning camera, like with the time lapse. Punch through my chest. <laughs> now while she's sitting in his chair, she is going through some shit. The pain is my only reminder that he was real. Undelivered, undelivered. She's sending letters even though she knows they're bouncing right back. You're going to Jacksonville. Live with your mother. I'm not leaving Forks. He's not coming back. I know. Quite frankly, it's scaring the hell out of me. I don't want you to leave. I don't. Make some new friends. I like my old friends. I never see him anymore. Do you? No. Across the cafeteria. I need a girls' night out shopping. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, as long as she gets out of the house, right? Gets out socializing. I don't know if she's full of it, you know, just bluffing them or whatever. Why are there that many zombie movies anyway? Had leprosy, it's not 
funny. Okay, you Jessica, know? you're talking too like, much now. Come on. It's supposed to be a metaphor for consumerism. Like wow. Oh. Oh, she's remembering. That triggered that memory. Where Edward was her knight in shining armor, you know, coming to her rescue. No, she's not thinking she's going to... Keep walking. What the frick? It's dangerous. How is he astral projecting himself? She was thinking about going down to those bikers to get into trouble and maybe Edward would come rescue her. Is that what she was thinking? Throwing herself in harm's way? Well, they seem great. Can we go? No, she's going to do it. Turn around. You promised me nothing reckless. Well, you can't control her life, though. But she is doing something reckless. As if you never existed. Promise as if you never existed. Oh my Bye. god. No, she's driving off with him. Left Jessica there. On the street, driving off with some random biker dude who's not even wearing a friggin' helmet now. Come on! All right. Stop, stop, stop. So he's just gonna haunt her now? What? He's taking stalker to a what whole another level. You? You're insane, actually, or <laughs> suicidal. I was about to end up in an FBI interview room like some lame TV show. <laughs> She's such a teenager. Her friendship and bond is kind of broken there with Jessica, that's for sure, and probably with the others. Oh no, no, no. What a level of creepy now Edward is, though. He's watching her at all times. Ben, Luca. Wow, okay. She's actually smiling, Sue. I, uh, brought you something. Wow. Okay. Scrap metal. I think they'll probably cost more to fix than they're worth. If I had a mechanic friend to help me out, then... Ah, me. I get it if you think that this is really stupid. And reckless. Stupid and reckless. When do we start? Now. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Look at him. See? He's such a good friend. He cares for her so much. Heavy, so... Oh, yeah. Dude is jacked. Jake, you're, like, buff. He's got his super strength even in his uh, human form. Sounds good. You don't like it? I don't really like music anymore. Oh, no. She gave up on music just because of the whole Edward thing? Come on, now. Guys, this is Bella. Bella, that's Quill and Embry. Yeah, taught him everything he knows. <laughs> what about the part where you're his girlfriend? Oh, what? Come uh, on, man. Remember I said she's a girl and a friend. So you guys have girlfriends. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, they don't have girlfriends, yet they're mocking him? <laughs> wow, they really came in and threw him under the bus there. She'll get along with the... See, this is so much better for her mental state and emotional state all of that you know look at her smiling just having fun bonding with real people none of this emotional garbage that comes with all the vampires right he makes me feel better he makes me feel alive the hole in my chest well when i'm with jake it's it's like it's almost healed what's up with you and age I and mean, how old was that cullen guy anyway yeah he knew the difference and he triggered her there just to get a response out of her God, she's still having nightmares. Hanging out with Jake, that seems to take your mind off things a bit, doesn't it? You gotta learn to love what's good for you. I love you. This is such a good supporting father, hey? Eh? Come on now, always there for her, looking out for her. Every time she has a nightmare, he comes up. Maybe if I was smart, I would have dragged out the rebuild a bit. Oh. If you told me you couldn't fix these bikes, I would say that that's, that we're just gonna have to find something else to do. That brought a smile to his face. No. Oh my god. They just threw him off that big old cliff? What? <laughs> They're not really fighting, Bella. Scary as hell. But a total rush. So now it's a rush. He's gonna do it. Some kind of beef with him or something? They just think they run this place. All of a sudden he started following Sam around like a little puppy. Same thing mm. happened with Paul and Derek. He's creating his own wolf pack. Embry, so he's gonna be like the alpha male, right? Let's take a brief intermission to answer a question that I get frequently. Newfie, where can I get that awesome shirt you're wearing? The majority of the shirts that I wear come straight from Amazon. I love it because they're well-priced, with great quality, and no hassles. Just order them, and they come to your door a short time later. If you want to pick up some of these friggin' sweet teas for yourself, I'll have some links in the description below. Go check them out. And you'll also help support the channel, so keep being awesome, people. Rick? Oh, good chance to touch your hands. Touch. Ready? Bella. Come on, Edward. No. No. You didn't want anything to do with this. Stop. She's riding a motorcycle by. Relax. <laughs> no helmet again? Come on, man.
Okay, what's Edward's problem though? Now, is this just something in her head and she's actually going crazy? I don't think it is. I think, oh. Oh, oh I feel like it's just Edward stalking her, constantly keeping an eye on her, which is not cool. Are you trying to get yourself killed? No more bikes. No, come on now. Your head. That was a pretty bad oh fall. God, sorry. We well, were apologizing for bleeding. Right, she got so used to it. You don't need to do that around Jacob? Oh, hello. What an opportunity, hey, to peel it off. <laughs> a classic scene of patching up somebody's wound and falling in love. You're sort of beautiful. How hard did you hit your head? <laughs> you had a choice to say you're beautiful too or to make a joke. You made a joke. Is it the right call? Maybe. Bentley's back. Yeah, I guess so. Don't. Eating again. Don't do Which, it. You know. I was just wondering if you, you don't wanted to go uh, ask. see Lily. Don't ask her out again. Yeah, sure. Love spelled backwards is love. Why is he not with Jessica anymore? No. No romance. How about face punch? Okay. Wow, what a change in lifestyle for her. To go. Do you guys want to go see? No, it's not face a date punch. anymore. Face punch. Movie night with Bella. <laughs> oh no, look at her. She's actually turning against Bella now. Jessica don't like Bella anymore. Well, especially now that her former ex-boyfriend is now falling in love with her again. Jessica bails, and Angela got the stomach flu, so it's just us three. Great. Yeah. Oh, come on. How awkward for that poor guy, right? Come on. Really thought he finally got his date with Bella. No. Oh, the hand is there. You can pick. Look at him with your hands ready, ready to be held. She gonna hold one or both? Okay, I, I think I'm gonna stop. What? I didn't think he was so sensitive. Wasn't he the guy that was bored with Romeo and Juliet? What a marshmallow. You should hold out for someone with a stronger stomach. I feel bad. He probably has that flu that's Ooh. going around. That was kind of weird and awkward. What? I can't hold your hand? No, of course you can. Hmm. I just think it, you know, means something a little different to you. You like me, right? Okay. Don't you think I'm sort of beautiful? <laughs> Come on, Jacob's making his move. Can't blame him after all this time. Because you're about to ruin everything. Oh no. Well, I've got loads of time. I'm not gonna give up. He's stuck in the friend zone for now. She's just using him. That's, that's really selfish. Yeah, to cope with Edward. It's because of him, right? You know it. I know what he did to you. I would never, ever do that. You can count on me. There you go, We're laying it on her, right? The perfect choice is right in front of you. <laughs> He's embarrassed. I need to go home. I'm, I was feeling sick before the movie. Feeling sick? Maybe you need to go to the hospital. You want me to put you in the hospital? Jake, Ooh, Jake, Jake, Jake. What? Is that werewolf rage is coming out? I'm really hot. <laughs> I, like I don't know what's happening. He's going through the transformation. The transformation! Who is first? Real rage outburst. That's the thing with the werewolves, right? They gotta control that inner rage. I'm sorry about what I said at the movie theater. Jacob, please call me. Jacob's going through a transformation right now. Leave a message. Bears <laughs> won't get the drop on me, Bella. My kung fu is strong. <laughs> I like that guy. Is he like a like a famous Canadian actor? I, I swear I've seen him in different things growing up on like Canadian television. Oh, well, well, well. He cut his hair. Why'd you cut it off? Here comes the drama. And I'm you here for it. And got a tattoo? <laughs> I thought you were too sick to come outside. He looked way better with long hair. Comment below whether you like short hair or long hair on Jacob. No Just like that. What's wrong? Hey! What happened? Mm. But if you want somebody to blame, how about those filthy blood suckers you love? Oh. Oh, 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 he's letting it know now. He knew all along. Yeah. You, know exactly. you can't lie to me. He knows better. We can't be friends anymore. Ooh, that's twice now. Two of the people she cared for gave her that line. Maybe give me like some time or something. No, it's not you. It's not you. It's me, right? I'm not. Who? Oh, I was gonna say, who do you think I am? Why are you taking the dark path? This is over. You can't break up with me. I mean, you're my best friend. Oh, no. You promised me. You're going to break your promise I already? I promised I wouldn't hurt you, Bella. 
And this is me keeping that promise. Frig's sake? You're gonna get hurt. Ho ho ho! Well, well, Bella. Look now, Bella, my god. If you just would have opened up to him and put Edward behind you, none of this would have been a factor. You'd be happily living your life right now. She just can't make up her mind. She's so stuck on Edward. She's remembering that most romantic moment. Come on, why is she still fascinated with him? After everything Edward did to her, why? Oh no, that guy. Laurent. I'm surprised they left you behind. Do the Cullens visit often? Why? You gotta lie. You gotta make it seem like you're still their property, right? So he doesn't kill you. Yeah, absolutely, all the time. I better. Because he's pretty protective. But he's far away, isn't he? Why are you here? Favor to Victoria. What? I thought he broke up with him. Victoria feels it's only fair to kill Edward's mate, given he killed her. Okay. Good point. Threaten him. Edward, know who did it. He After will. all, how much could you mean to him if he left you here unprotected? Ooh. You are so mouthwatering. Oh. Please don't. <laughs> Shh. Please, I'll make it quick. Why? Thank you, Dan. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy! Is that Jacob? Oh no, that could be that other guy that leaves the pack. Yeah, you better run, buddy. That's Jacob there, right? If Jacob wasn't the leader of the pack. <laughs> it's a lot going on in that little town. Oh, he's so gonna get ripped apart. Ooh. And I doubt he can outrun him. Depends how fast he is, though. I guess he has supernatural speed. What's the matter? So what? In the woods, they're not bears. Huge wolves. <laughs> Are you sure about that, Bill? Harry, yeah. you like going hunting? Get some of your guys together? Sure, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just... Uh... Right, yeah, sure, I'll just go kill a bunch of people that he probably knows, right? Can you just stay in the house? Nope. No, she can't. We're gonna have some pack dynamics and issues. I can see that coming now, too. That pack leader is going to take it too far, right? And then Jacob's going to have to pick up for Bella here. It's going to be a bunch of issues. Hopefully at some point Jacob becomes the leader of the pack. And then he takes the pack and he fights their vampire pack. And then there's a big feud and it'll be friggin' awesome. I'm getting way ahead of myself. <laughs> yep, there you go. Yeah, because that's normal, right? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Really? For what? I wish I could explain. If you ever had a secret, you couldn't tell anyone. I hate what they've done to you. Oh no. Uh oh, here we go, everybody. I mean, the killer part is you already know. Put it together. You walked on the beach at La Push. The story about the cold ones. I guess I understand why that's the only part you remember. If she says it, then he's not breaking his oath. She's only remembering the vampire part and not the part about all the wolves and everything else calls him out as a werewolf, then maybe he is allowed to talk about it, right? Descended from wolves. There you go. Was that her dad? Oh my god, if that wolf pack kills her dad, she's gonna lose it. I need to see him. He's not in. I'm sorry, I really need to see him. Bella? <laughs> What did you do? Hey, what did you do to him? Easy. He didn't want Damn. this. He tells me nothing because he's scared of you. <laughs> Ooh. Now, now. Oh, we can't control the rage. Oh, yeah. Cat's out of the bag now. Or the wolf's out of the bag. <laughs> oh, no. He's not running. <laughs> Just rips out of the clothes. Oh, we standing up to the pack for the sake of the girl. Here we go. Here we go. See who's the alpha here. Now she knows too much. What are they gonna do? Take Bella back to Emily's place. It's the wolf's out of the bag. <laughs> oh no! Did I really go in? <laughs> the wolf's out of the bag. <laughs> now you're all gonna think I've seen this before because I said that. My god, anyways, no, I haven't. Come on in, Bella. You won't bite. You speak for yourself. Come on now, come on. My god, every time that kind of thing happens in a movie, I'm telling you, I'll like say something and it'll be the same line that's in the film and then people friggin' fake reactor. Oh, okay. Who's this? You're the vampire girl. I'm the wolf girl. 
an engaged one. Okay. Look at the yeah, size of those off. muffins. We can hear each other's thoughts. Would you shut up? These are trade secrets. Damn it. <laughs> You're not the first monsters I've met. Monsters? monsters right? Okay, so that's his woman, eh? Mm -hmm. How'd she get those scars, though? He's awful happy now. What? So they're, they made up? Sorry. Just like that? Okay. Seems like it never even happened. I was expecting for one of them to come back covered in blood and be like, I had to kill the other one. A few lucky members of the tribe have the gene. Well, can't you find a way to just stop? What? Why would you want to? I was born this way. I can't help it. But I'm not the right kind of monster for you. It's not what you are. It's what you do. Oh, we're talking about all the innocent people that are getting killed. Trying to protect you people from. Oh. The only thing we do kill. Vampires. That's the only thing they kill. They're there to set the balance, are they? You can't kill vampires. They'll, they'll kill you. We took out that leech with the dreads easy enough. <laughs> His red-headed girlfriend is next. They can protect you against... Victoria. I've got this place covered. Careful. You got him watching your back. Fast. Look at this. Now she's getting feelings for him, right? Good. About time. You got something, Harry? Nope. Nothing. Definitely covering the tracks. Yep. There you go. Look at that. But it's his people. Can't blame him. What was that? That was her, right? I was gonna say, it looked like it was kind of black with red, but that red was her hair, right? Yeah. Oh no. They better not hurt him. Whoa! Oh! The wolf pack got his back. That was good. They did say, don't underestimate her. There we go. So the werewolves in this just run on all fours, eh? They don't, they're not bipedal. They're not up standing on two legs. Okay, I still like them better than vampires. Oh, what's she doing out there? Woo! Yeah, she can't take on the whole pack, can she? Ooh, she is fast, though. Is she out there to lure her out, the wilds? I don't think her dad knows that she's out there. He'd be pissed. Is he alive? He better freaking be alive now. Come on. Whew! She just can't stay home. She had to come all the way here. Oh, wow. What is she thinking? Don't do this. Oh, she wants to live on the edge. That's her way to talk to Edward, right? Put herself in danger. Watch me. No. You won't stay with me any other way. That's pretty bad. That she's got to risk her life over and over again. Just to have that brief moment of contact with Edward. Is it really worth it? Come on, I don't see Edward as being worth it. I'm just saying. It's gotta be friggin' cold water. Ooh, you're gonna get slammed against the rocks. Friggin' dangerous, man. Oh, no. Oh, you messed up now, didn't you? I didn't expect to see her underwater. She just knocked herself out? Or did the wave do it? I just know, growing up from Newfoundland, the rock, we got lots of islands like that, and you don't go out because the waves will crack you right into the side of it. She just keeps seeing them everywhere. Oh, here we go. Oh, Breathe. You're gonna have to give her mouth to mouth, but I'm gonna have to. Michael, can you hear me? Man, he's really watching after. But he's got to. I mean, she's literally being hunted at this point, right? What the hell were you thinking? I'm gonna go help out over at Harry's place! Harry Clearwater had a heart attack. What? Charlie and my dad are over at his place with his family. She's gone. That gave him a heart attack? Or did she actually do something to him to make his heart stop? I don't know. Kind of all happened so fast. I don't know. You saw what happened to Emily. Sam got angry, lost it for a split second, and was standing too close. We'll never be able to take that back. What if I got mad at you? Right? They both feel like they're monsters, right? You gotta pick your monster now, a vampire or a werewolf. You're not that you need me to tell you something like this. They're getting pretty close. I'll tell you all the time how special you are. It's happening. No, so close. Oh no, he feels rejected. Oh, she's wait. Playing hard to get, that's for sure. There's a vampire. I can smell it. I'm getting you out of here. There he is. He can smell it. It's a trick. They won't hurt me. This is their territory. Treaty says we can only defend on our own lands. I can't protect you here. You're about to cross a line. And don't draw one. Ooh. 
What a quote. Look at him. He's pissed because he can't do it. Who is it? Who's in the waiting? There. It's her. Jeez. Okay. Alice! I'm sorry. I, I just, I, I can't believe you're here. Can you to explain to me how you're alive? What? I saw a vision of you. You jumped off a cliff. Why in the hell would you try and kill yourself? She would have died if it wasn't for Jacob. He said he wants to be alone. Bella, what is that god-awful wet dog smell? That's probably me. Jacob's kind of a werewolf. Bella, werewolves <laughs> are not good company to keep. <laughs> oh, coming from a vampire. Speak for yourself. I had to see you were safe. I thought you couldn't protect me here. Guess I don't care. Oh, no. Yeah, Victoria's been around. I didn't see her. I didn't see you get pulled out of the water either. I can't see past you and your pack of mutts. <laughs> Come on, talk some sense into him, Bella. Come on now. Voice of reason. They have a uh, eternal feud. Can't blame them, right? You're going to come back, right? As soon as you put the dog out. Oh, <laughs> what a bird. She's kind of playing she both. She stay as long as she'd like. Okay, attitude. Oh, the shoulder hit and everything. She's playing both fields. How's this going to work out? That's all, then you better go run back to Sam. I keep breaking my promise. You don't have to do this to each other. Too late for that now. Yes, we do. He's moving in. He's determined. He said he's not going to give up. <laughs> what timing. Not meant to be right now, right? Not meant to be. He's not here right now. He's arranging a funeral. What? That was Edward who called? Who was that? Bella, step back. Bella, it's Edward. Hmm? He thinks you're dead. Why didn't you let me speak to him? She didn't ask for Bella. you. I don't Bella. care! Bella, Ooh. he's going to the Volturi. He wants to die too. No. no I'm not gonna let him kill himself. Now she's guilt. flipping again. Stay here for me. She's not gonna do it. Go. No. Once again, heartbreaker. Bella is a heartbreaker. But I get that she wants to go to prevent Edward from killing himself. Because she don't want to have that on her conscience, right? All he had to do, though, was let Bella talk on the phone, right? The whole situation would have calmed down a little bit. No, he's going to go in there and ask to be killed. Look at him. He thinks that Bella's dead, so now he's got no other purpose to live. So they've made up your minds. I'm afraid your particular gift too valuable to destroy. Join us. We would be delighted to utilize your skills. You know it will happen anyway. Oh, such a waste. Such a waste. Yeah, he's determined to get himself killed. What? What do you see? They refused him. Show himself to the humans. No. When? Ooh. Man, good thing. She can see the future like, okay. I said in the last film, like, that's not a very useful ability if it's if the future can be changed, but she's definitely using it to her advantage, that's for sure. Oh, wow. Didn't she dream about this at the beginning? Why are they all in red? Same with They're commemorating the expulsion of vampires from the city. Bella, you're the only one he can't see coming. If I go, he'll read my thoughts. He'll think I'm lying. He'll rush into it. I like it, yes, because, right, he can't read her thoughts, so she don't even know that she's there. I like it, so she'll be able to sneak right up on Edward, stop him from killing himself. I'm not a big fan of Edward, but I still don't want to see him destroy himself now, right? She's giving her all she got. No! Where is he? I have to stop him. Scream out to him! The slow motion dragging out the tension. All he did as soon as he steps into the light and that little girl sees him. Scream out already! Was intense. I needed to make you see me once. You had to know that I was alive, that you didn't have to feel guilty about anything. I can let you go now. You never acted out of guilt. What? I just couldn't live in a world where you don't exist. Oh, come on now, buddy. You can't drop that line on her. I don't like it. No. Because it doesn't make sense for you to love me. I mean, Nothing human. Nothing. Everything to me. Oh, then why did you do that by gab, yeah, buddy? Make up your mind. No. No. Frig, no. Oh my god, no. 
She should be with Jacob, not with Edward. Aro wants to speak with you again. No rules were broken. Nonetheless. Ella, why don't you go and enjoy the rest of the festival? The girl comes with us. Oh, no. no. Go to hell. Jane. Yeah, sent me to see what was taking so long. Okay. All right, you've been summoned. You better go. What are they going to do with the human in here now? Letting that one human know, though, is that against the rules? Maybe it is. How can you tell one human that you're a vampire, but not everyone? Maybe it's different if it's on a public scale, right? I don't know. It's alive after all. I love a happy ending. Hmm. They are so rare. Got can it. you stand to be so close to her? It's not without difficulty. Arrow can meet every thought I've ever had with one touch. Whew. You can't read Bella's thoughts. Oh, I wonder, can he touch her hands and get all the memories? I would love to see if you are an exception to my gifts as well. They're going to see that she's in love with a werewolf or something. Does it work? Or is she hidden? Interesting. I see nothing. <laughs> That's worrisome for him. He's never experienced that before. Let us see if she is immune to all our powers. Shall we, Jane? Frig, what does Jane do? Pain. Pain? She's gonna say pain? Don't please stop! Alright, Jane, my god, Jane got some issues. Trying it on her, it's not gonna work. So is she immune to all vampire powers? Just a little. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> They've never met a human that's immune to it. What do we do with you now? She knows too much. Oh no. She's a liability. Oh. What the freak? Oh, Edward's trying to come to their defense. Whew, that guy is a brawler. What's he got, like super strength, like on another level? Oh, wow. Get up, Edward, get up. Jeez, he's fast. The other guy's strong. Oh, backbreaker! Please, no, no, please, please! Kill me, kill me! Not him. No, oh, what kind of love sacrifice she's willing to make? Extraordinary. You would give up your life for someone like us. Yeah. A vampire, a soulless Ooh. monster. Oh. If only it were your intention. Give her immortality. Bella will be one of us. Really? I've seen it. I'll change her myself. What is she doing? Oh, we can get all the memories. Oh, so he can tell if she's lying. Is it a possibility? Is it one of the futures that may happen? Oh, wow. How magical is this? Okay. Mesmerizing. Your gifts will make for an intrigue. How old is that guy? Has he been alive hundreds of years or thousands? If you follow through on your promise soon, we do not offer second chances. Oh, they got themselves out of that situation. Took all three of them to do it. Okay. She's going back to the vampires. The only reason I left is because I thought I was protecting you. Leaving you was the hardest thing I've done in a hundred years. You can't repair the bonds with a few words, Edward. I'll never fail you. Heard that before, boy. Come on. You okay? Fine. I'm really sorry, Dad. Do not ever do that to me again. Yes, you're breaking your dad's heart over here, right? And you're grounded for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay. Fair. Fair. He's not going to forgive me easily. No, definitely not. After what Bella went through, would you be able to do that if you were as a parent? Daughter go through that much turmoil because of a boy? I guess ultimately it's her decision. But, I'm just saying, as a parent, you'd be pretty upset. My god, she keeps making out with Edward, but she won't even give freaking Jacob a kiss. I don't need to change you. There are always ways to keep the Volturi in the dark. No. No. Still wants to be changed. She still wants to be changed. The only thing that I can think of, for to be fair, is to just vote. Shut up. Shut up, Edward. Just, just shut up. We consider you my sister. Yes. I vote yes. Of course you do. It would be nice to not want to kill you all the time. <laughs> I'm really sorry to both of you. Mm. This isn't a life I would have chosen for myself. And I wish that there had been someone to vote no for me. Oh, oh hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Why are you doing this to me? I've chosen not to live without her. There's been no choice. She's gonna get turned? No! I'll wait until after 
graduation. Okay, she didn't get it done then. Okay. I want you to be the one to do it. Oh, here we go. You stay the hell out of my head. I know you have something to say to me. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Thank you for keeping Bella alive when I didn't. You didn't. But I'm here now. I'm not going to leave her side until she orders me away. I'm here to remind you about a key point in the tree. I haven't forgotten. What key point? If any of them bites a human, the truce is over. Really? What if I choose it? It has nothing to do with you. No. You're not going to be one of them, Bella. It's not up to you. The playing both these guys, Bella, come on. I love you. What? But only as a friend, right? Don't make me choose. Well, you got to choose by now, for frig's sakes. Come on. Because it'll be him. Oh, don't make me it's choose. It's always been him. Oh, my. Friggin' Bella. Go away, then. Go with your vampire. Damn your soul forever. Don't speak for her. Get turned into a monster. Stop! Stop! You can't hurt each other without hurting me. My dear, with the way you're acting. But now, you, you're, you pick to be a vampire. Pick that road and go on. We don't need any more movies, right? This is it. This is the last one. You're done. You live happily ever after with Edward, right? <laughs> Five years. Five years? That's too long. And three. I have one condition. Marry me. Oh. What? By now you know that I'm Team Jacob, Team Werewolf. However, it looks like they lost. Now she's going to go with Edward, marry him, damn her soul, all this kind of stuff. But it could take three years. What? Either way, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of it. We'll be getting on to the next one soon. While you're waiting, watch one of these things. Or maybe it's already here. Peace and love, everybody. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye.